you're watching porn right now, I highly advise that you stop. It's, wor it's one of the worst habits that you can pick up. It destroys relationships. I mean, this is speaking from somebody who has experience, who had a porn addiction in the past, um, who struggles. I definitely struggle from time to time. Porn is just something you really want to stay away from. It keeps you from wanting to meet other women, especially if you're single. Um, and that's one of the main things when you're single, you get that instant gratification. So you don't want to go out and talk to other women because you get that instant gratification just from watching porn. I mean, even when you're single, you think it'll go away when you get into a relationship, but it doesn't. It could actually make it worse. Um, you can even make excuses for watching porn now that you're in a relationship. So take care of it beforehand. Um, it's not going to help your you know, your partner feel any better that you're watching porn. Um, that's one thing that has kept me away from watching it is just thinking about how my wife feels about it. Um, by the way, if you didn't know, I am married. In the past, I've struggled with porn and it has negatively affected my relationship with my wife and that brought some distance to our relationship because of that. So one thing I did while being, when I was single, um, how I would try to stop watching porn was by going to the gym, trying to make some daily habits that would help me keep my mind from porn. Uh, going to the gym helped for some time, but eventually I fell back, right back into it over and over again. Um, but one thing that helped more than anything was realizing that what I was doing was hurting myself and those around me because porn, it isolates you, keeps you from pursuing relationships. It can isolate you from your relationships around you, you know, with your family, because you feel that guilt, that shame after, you know, you watch porn. And it's the worst feeling ever. It's something that I hate feeling and will not want to feel ever. <laughs> Back to what helped me get away from that was really seeking God, really seeking Jesus, um, asking him for his strength, for his help, because I couldn't do it in my own strength, no matter what I tried, no matter what daily habits I tried to pick up that were positive, and I still ended up falling back into it. One key thing I had to do was realize what I was doing was a sin, to stop excusing it, to stop saying, oh, everybody's doing it, it's okay. I just, I could, I could do it too. But no, I had to let go of that because even though everybody's doing it, just because everybody's doing it, doesn't mean it's a good thing to have, a good habit to have. And number two was prayer, really asking God and speaking to him to help me with this addiction and help me overcome it because I couldn't do it again in my own strength, no matter what I tried and his Holy Spirit would work within me and he would convict me of what I was doing that was wrong. If, even if I was scrolling and I saw like a Instagram model or something like that, he says it starts with your heart, it starts with your eyes. Cause Jesus said, if you, even if you looked upon a woman with lust, that means you could commit adultery within your heart. So that means I was committing adultery by looking at these women with lust and realizing that just really made a difference in how I viewed, you know, even simply scrolling through Instagram, how I viewed porn, realizing that, you know, that's someone's daughter, that's someone's sister, you know, just got to really make it personal. And number three, what helped me was having accountability. Um, some people have, you know, accountability partners, things like that uh, in my heart. And that's where it starts. You got to ask God to change your heart change your mind, keep you from doing the things you once love, and changing that around. And even though prayer works, you gotta put in the work too as well. You gotta delete those apps that draw you to, um, you gotta stop it before it even gets bad, because once you're so far gone, it's easier to just jump right into So you gotta stop it before it happens. And that starts with unfollowing those Instagram models or anything that pushes you into towards that direction of watching porn. You just want to stop that immediately. 
and create daily habits, good habits that'll keep you from thinking about porn. I know one thing that happened when I stopped um, was that I kept thinking about it, you know, anything because I was addicted, I would keep thinking about it. Um, when I was bored, when I was in idle, when I wasn't doing anything. So really get to work, try doing something, work towards something, set some goals, some plans. If you're always working, you have time less to think about uh, watching porn or doing anything like that. Then when you're feeling really tempted, you know, ask God for help. There's a Bible verse that says, no temptation. This is found in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13. It says, no temptation has overcome, overtaken you, except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. So basically, there's always a way out. Uh, God will always provide you a way out. He does not allow that temptation that you have to overtake you. Um, there's always something that you can do instead of falling into that sin, into that temptation. There's a story in the Bible um, of a character named Joseph. Joseph was sold into slavery uh, by his brothers and he worked under Potiphar and Potiphar's wife, he, she wanted Joseph, she wanted to lie in bed with him. In the scriptures, it would say, she would ask him day by day, day by day, you know, can you lay in bed with me, lay in bed with me. Joseph refused, he would say no, he would walk away. But one day, she got hold of him, right? She grabbed him by his garment. She said, come, you know, come lie to, in bed with me. And Joseph literally had to turn and run and flee. And that's what we should do with sexual sin. We have to run from it, flee from it. Um, we don't have to literally, you know, run, but really, if you're feeling tempted, you know, at night, you know, go ahead. And if you're feeling really tempted at night, first thing I would do is say a prayer, um, ask God for help um, to show you that way out, what you can do instead. If you need to, listen to a devotional, listen to a podcast, get your mind off of it. Um, if you're really feeling tempted, you know, leave your phone there on the bed, get outside, go on a walk, uh, get out the room, um, hand your phone to somebody, um, do what you need to do in order not to fall into that temptation. And the more you starve this temptation, the more you starve uh, the sin, the weaker it gets and the less it grows. Every time you feed it, the more it overtakes you every time you get tempted. So really, let go. Really, the best way you can get rid of porn is take daily habits that can help you uh, stay working. The more you work, the less you can think about porn. Stay from being idle. Um, or you're bored, find another habit you can do. You know, you can write something, draw, watch TV, you know, anything that can keep your mind off of that and falling back into that temptation. And the more, number one thing is just calling on God for your help, for help, for strength. Um, those are my habits that I do now. Of course, going to the gym, um, releasing that stress, um, staying active, you know, getting that good dopamine, that's what's gonna help you more in the long run than getting instant gratification. So I hope that video helped you out there. Check this video out here where I give you five steps to overcome porn or to destroy porn. All right, guys, thanks for listening. And please make those steps. Please make those steps into preventing you from falling into that temptation. All right, guys, peace out. Thank you.